Hey, what's up? Operation Hydroid here, and this is my PSX for All request series, where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for All. These games are taken by request, so if you would like to request a video, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is how to get Crash Bandicoot 2 on PSX for All. Okay, so to get this to work, we're going to need three things. The first one being PSX for all, the actual PlayStation 1 emulator, and the application that we're going to use to play the game. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the left or a link in the description. We'll also need iFile, file browsing system, which we'll use to put the game in the right place. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the right and a link in the description. And lastly, we'll need Safari Download Enabler, and to get that, you'll have to go into Cydia, then into the Search tab and search Safari Download Enabler. It's the first tweak. It's completely free, so go ahead and install that. Now, to get the actual game, we're going to have to go into Safari. So go ahead and open Safari, the iDevices native internet browser, and when it loads, we're going to type in the URL cool rom.com as you can see I am doing right here and I just searched cool rom not cool rom.com but somehow it magically took me there which is awesome so as you can see it automatically takes you to their mobile website and that is completely fine because their mobile website is awesome and very easy to use anyway so here we have three options instructions emulators and rom files we are going to click on rom files because well we want to get roms so when we scroll down here, we're going to be looking for Sony PlayStation because that's the console that we want to get a ROM, aka game for. So go ahead and click on Sony PlayStation. When this loads, it will show you the Sony PlayStation directory where they have all the ROMs neatly organized under top 25 downloaded, top 25 rated, and browse by letter. But in this episode, we're going to be going through Top 25 Downloaded because Crash Bandicoot 2 is a pretty popular game. So as you scroll down, look for Crash Bandicoot 2. It's right here for me with 67,000 views as of this date. And uh, maybe this video will inspire us to get higher on that Top 25 Downloaded list. Anyways, when you click on it, it will take you to the Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back page and as you can see it has two nice screenshots the file name the file size its system downloads rating and some advertisements which aren't very cool but when you scroll down you'll see the download now button and what this is is the download now the download link so when you click on it the download will begin and you know that your download has started because where the URL was is now transformed into amount of megabytes being downloaded to the amount of megabytes to be downloaded so you only get this if you have safari download enabler and i will be back when the download is done when the download is complete you should have a screen like this and from here what we're going to do is click on the open in button right there and then on the finder option now you'll only have that finder option if you got safari download enabler now from here we're going to go all the way back to var mobile and you know you'll be in var mobile when you can't go back anymore and it says var mobile right there anyways we're going to click on the media folder scroll down click on the roms folder then on the psx folder and at the top right click save from here we're going to go home and into ifile as i advised you to get earlier and we're going to go to var mobile by clicking on the little house here and you'll know you'll be in var mobile because it says it there from here we're going to click on the media folder scroll down roms folder psx folder and we're going to look for the crash bandicoot 2.7z file so as you can see it is right here we're going to go ahead and click on that and then we're going to click on an archiver and now what this does it is extracting three files from the .7z file and placing them 
in the PSX directory. So essentially, we just want to get the three files that are in this .7z file. So this process should take two to five minutes, and I will be back when it is done. Now, you will know that the unarchiving is complete when you have a screen like this that will say everything is OK and finish with result code 0. You will also be able to click done at the top right, so let's go ahead and do that. When we click done, it will return us to the PSX directory, and now we will see that we have a Crash Bandicoot 2.bin file right here, as well as a .q file, which is right there. Um, now we do not need the .7z file, so we can go ahead and delete that file to create more space by swiping to the right, clicking delete, then clicking edit at the top right, the trash can, and empty trash. Now you will get your data back from that file, and now we can go home and into the PSX folder. But before you open PSX Raw, make sure that you double tap the home button and make sure that it is not in the multitasking bar. If it is, then go ahead and hold it down and then click on the red minus to kill the PSX for all application. Now we can go into the PSX for all application and when it opens, you will see that our Crash Bandicoot 2.bin file will now be in the PSX for all application. So as you can see here, Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back.bin. So let's go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to be playing in portrait and no sound for demonstration purposes. Though you guys can play in any orientation and sound preference that you like. But for optimal performance when playing PSX for all, I recommend that you use PSX for all 3.0.0. And playing with no sound gives you better performance. Anyways, when you open PSX for all, well, when you run a, P a ROM on PSX for all, you'll see that a Sony boot logo comes up and then a PlayStation boot logo comes up as you just saw. And then the game will run as you're seeing right here. And most games run extremely well on PSX for all. If you're seeing a little lag, that is because I am recording my screen and it does cause some lag. Anyways, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the game and stick around for the outro. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, I have a couple of videos here that you would, might want to see. Click on the corresponding video that you would like to see. And to see more cool videos like this one or the ones on your screen, click on that green subscribe button.